So Mystique has three prosthetics, uh, or at least that's how many I'm making for this tutorial. One for her forehead and one on each of her cheeks for a total of three. What you want to do is grab in your plastic um, sleeve, um, basically outline on the sleeve with a Sharpie marker. Um, I'm doing this one-handed, so it's kind of hard to explain, but you just draw on the plastic sleeve the shape that you want the prosthetic to be. So in this case, I did a cheek, a cheek, and a forehead. Once you draw that on the plastic, cut it out, which you end up with. Of course, it's clear, so I can't find it. <laughs> For the forehead, I ended up with something like this. You know, it's kind of hard to see. And on the cheeks, I ended up with a shape that was something like this. The great thing about it being flexible is you can really get an idea of how it's going to shape to your face after you've made a prosthetic. After that, um, taking the drawing as a reference, I stenciled out what I wanted my piece to look like. So that's the forehead. Actually, that's the forehead because it's going to cover my eyebrows. And here's the cheek. So there you are. Um, what you want to do is take your bamboo skewer and start peeling out the little pieces. I found that once you get to um, a certain spot, it's, you can see it kind of lifting up and you can get it all in one quick, easy pull. Um, see, that's what I mean by one quick, easy pull. You just kind of have to work at it a little bit. Practice makes, makes perfect, as they say. And so, you just keep doing that until you get all the molding play out. See, it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. So now that we've got all the molding clay out of our um, plaster mold, uh, what you want to do is grab your liquid latex. Oops, that hurts. <laughs> you want to grab your liquid latex and you can Depending on how steady of a hand you have, you can pour a little bit on one of the flatter surfaces and then taking your cotton swab, just brush it over. You want to do this quickly though because the lake text gets super, super tacky really quickly and um, it'll, it'll peel itself right off of it. Um, right off itself if you don't move quickly. So that's just one quick quote. One <laughs> quick coat. You see what I mean by it's getting super tacky? It's already tacky. I kind of have to wait for this to dry. Do another coat and then a third coat until all the crevices are completely filled in and you've got a nice, um, nice prosthetic to work with. So you might be looking at your computer screen wondering why this mold is so much bigger than the one we were just looking at. Um, in the interest of time, this is one that I already worked on um, that's already dry. It, it, and by dry, it'll be a little bit tacky, but not to the point where you'll disrupt it. It won't come off on your fingers or anything. Um, what you want to do is take the baby powder and sprinkle it on. 
And then taking um, a brush, any brush, this one has seen better days. I've been using it a lot lately. Just brush the baby powder. And uh, this will take away any and all tackiness that's left over. So, I mean, it really won't be tacky anymore. And then gently and slowly, you want to find an area where it's easiest for you to start peeling off the mold. And then because the other underside is still going to be tacky, you want to continue the same process of brushing the baby powder on the mold as you go. So peel the corner, brush. Peel the corner, brush. If you don't do this, it will stick right to itself. And one last final tug and brush. And that's what we have. One of many, many, many prosthetic pieces.